Hello everyone and today we are going to learn about the culture methods of protoplast. So the culture technique of protoplast is almost the same as that it is used for the cell culture with suitable modifications. But there are different culture methods that are used for the protoplast culture like for the protoplast. So the first one is the feeder layer technique second is the co-culture of protoplast and third one is the micro drop culture so coming to the first method that is the feeder layer technique now for the culture of protoplast at the low density feeder layer technique is the one which is preferred so it is also important for the selection of the specific mutant or hybrid cells for plates the technique it consists of exposing protoplast cell suspensions to x rays. Why it is done? Because to inhibit the cell division with good metabolic activity and then plating them on agaprates. So that is the reason why the feeder layer technique is mostly preferred. Now coming to the co-culture of protoplast. Protoplast of two different plant species. Now in that case, it might be a, a possibility that one must be slow growing and the other one is fast growing so it can be co-culture so this type of co-culture is advantageous uh, advantage is that since the growing species provide the growth factors and the other chemicals which helps in the generation of the cell wall and cell division the co-culture method is generally used if the two types of protoplast are morphologically distinct then only the co-culture of protoplast can be done. The third technique is the microdrop culture. Now, specially, this, it, the microdrop culture technique, it is designed for dishes, namely like the cupric dishes with outer and inner chambers, and they are used for microdrop culture. Now, the inner chamber, what it does, it carries the several wells wherein the individual protoplast in droplets of nutrient medium can be added and the outer chamber it is filled with water to maintain humidity so in the inner chamber what it does inner chamber the individual uh, several it carries several wells so that the individual protoplast in droplets of nutrient medium can be added and the outer chamber it is filled with water to maintain humidity now this method what it does it allows the culture of your protoplast for droplet of the medium so the micro drop culture it is also used so these are the three culture methods of the protoplast one is the feeder layer technique second is the co-culture of protoplast and third one is the micro drop culture in the coming lesson we'll learn about the regeneration of protoplast so if you like the video don't forget to click on like button below and also don't forget to subscribe for more video updates. Thank you for watching.